Hi, in previous lecture I discussed decrease and concave technique. There are three types of decrease and concave. First is decrease by constant, next is decrease by a constant factor, next is variable size decrease. If we are decreasing the size and try to solve, that is a decrease and concave technique. We will discuss first application of decrease and concave, that is insertion sort. An application of decrease by one technique to sort an array is insertion sort. So in insertion sort, what we will do? We will assume that the smaller problem of sorting an array a 0 to n minus 2 has already been solved to give us a sorted array of size n minus 1. Means the array is already sorted till that element. So what we will do? We will check just right to left. And we'll find proper position where we can insert that element. So that's why the name is insertion sort. We'll check from right to left for finding a perfect position where we can insert the element. Just see an example. Suppose we want to insert AI from A0 till AI minus 1 is already sorted. So we'll compare AI with AI minus 1. Suppose it is less than it, then it is less than it. And we found that a i is greater than a of j and it is less than a of j plus 1. So what we'll do, we'll just insert a of i here. We'll check from right to left and we'll find proper position for that element and we'll insert that element. So that's why the name is insertion sort. The algorithm sorts the input number in place. It rearranges the number within the array with at most a constant number of them sorted outside the array at any time. I already discussed selection sort, bubble sort. Selection sort and bubble sort are also in place. If we don't need any extra space, then that is a in place algorithm. Selection sort, bubble sort and insertion sort are in place algorithm. We are sorting the array within that array. Maximum we may require some constant memory but not more than that. So it is a in place algorithm. Let's discuss algorithm of insertion sort. Input will be an array of orderable element and output will be the array sorted in increasing order. For i 1 to n minus 1 do b will be a of i and j will be i minus 1. While j value is greater than equals to 0 and a of j greater than v do a of j plus 1 will be a of j and j will be j minus 1. Then while loop exit a of j plus 1 will be v. So this is the algorithm. Let me explain this algorithm with the example. This is a RA and index starting from 0 to 6. So here n equals to 7 index starting from 0 to n minus 1. Now what will be i? i will range from 1 to n minus 1. So initially i will be here. i value will be 1 and v will be a i. So v will be 4. Then j will be i minus 1. So j will be this. Next file j value greater than equals to 0. Yes, j equals to 0 and a of j greater than v. What is a of j? a of j is 8. 8 is greater than 4. Yes, then a of j plus 1 will be a of j. Means this 8 will shift to a of j plus 1. This is our j. So j plus 1 will be this. So we will shift 8 to next position. Then j will be j minus 1. j is 0. Now j will be here. Means j will be minus 1. And a of j plus 1 will be v. j is minus 1. So j plus 1 will be here. And it will be v. Means 4 will come here. So after one iteration, two elements are sorted, 4 and 8. Next, I will be here, I value will be 2 and this will be also our V, V will be A of I. So V will be 6 and J will be I minus 1. This will be our J. While J value greater than equals to 0, J value is 1 greater than 0. Then A of J greater than V. What is A of J? It is 8. And what is B? V is 6. Is 8 greater than 6? Yes. 
then a of j plus 1 will be a of j. Means this 8 will sit to one position. This is our j, j plus 1 will be 2. So a of 2 will be a of 1. Now this 8 will shift. Again we will run the file loop. Now j will be j minus 1. So j will come here. And we will check j value is greater than equals to 0. j equals to 0. And a of j greater than v. a of j is what? 4 is 4 greater than 6. No. When it is no, so we will exit from the while loop. Now we will do this. A of j plus 1 will insert v. So a of j plus 1 means j plus 1 will be this position. So we will insert v. v means 6. So 6 will insert here. In next iteration, i will be here and j will be here. i is also our v. So we will check if j greater than equals to 0, yes 2 value is greater than equals to 0, is 8 greater than 9, a of j is what, 8, is 8 greater than 9, no. So we will exit from the loop and a of j plus 1 will be v, a of j plus 1 will be v means this is our j, so j plus 1 will be this position, means we will not do anything for 9, 9 will be in its own place. So for insertion sort best case will be if one array is already sorted. Here it is already sorted so we don't do any shift. It will be at its own position. Next i value will be here, j value will be here and this is also our v. We will check j greater than equals to 0, 3 greater than equals to 0 and a of j greater than v. What is a of j? 9 greater than 2. Yes. So a of j plus 1 will be a of j. Means this 9 will shift to here. Then j will be j minus 1. Now j will be here. Again we will do while loop. Is j value greater than equals to 0? Yes, 2 greater than equals to 0. And a of j greater than v. What is a of j? a of j is 8. Is 8 greater than 2? Yes. So a of j plus 1 will be a of j. Means this 8 will shift to here. Now new j position will be here. Again we will continue while loop j value greater than equals to 0 then a of j greater than v. What is a of j? It is 6. Is 6 greater than 2? Yes. So a of j plus 1 will be a of j. Means a of 1 will be a of 2. So we will shift this 6 to 1 position and j will be j minus 1. Now j will be here. Next, again we will check, is j value greater than equals to 0? Yes. a of j is 4, is 4 greater than 2? Yes. So a of j plus 1 will be a of j, this 4 will shift and j will be j minus 1. Now here will be j. Next we will check, is j greater than equals to 0? Now j value is minus 1, this is not greater than equals to 0, so we will exit from the loop and a of j plus 1 will be b. This is our j and this is our j plus 1 position. So b means 2 will come here. So after insertion, we will get this 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 that is already sorted. Next, i will be 5, j will be 4 and v will be 3. Is j greater than equals to 0? Is 4 greater than equals to 0? Yes. Is a of j greater than v? 9 greater than 3? Yes. So a of j plus 1 will be a of j. This 9 will shift and j will be j minus 1. Now this will be our new j. Next again we will check is j greater than or equals to 0. Yes, is a of j greater than v. a of j is what? 8. Is 8 greater than 3? Yes. So this 8 will shift and j value will change. j will be j minus 1. Next again we will check is 2 greater than equals to 0? Yes. And a of j means 6 greater than 3? Yes. So this 6 will shift and j value will decrease. Next, is 1 greater than equals to 0? Yes. And is 4 greater than 3? Yes. So this 4 will shift. Next, j will reduce to 0. So j value equals to 0 and a of j, a of j means 2. Is 2 greater than 3? No. So when it is no, we will exit from the loop 
and a of j plus 1 means this is our position j plus 1 will be b means this 3 will insert here so after insertion we got 2 3 4 6 8 9 in next iteration i will be here j will be here and this is our b so is 5 greater than 0 yes then is a of j greater than v means is 9 greater than v yes so 9 is greater than 1 so we will shift this 9 will shift to 6 position and j value will reduce so next again we will check is it greater than 0 yes and is a of j greater than v a of j is 8 8 is greater than 1 yes so this 8 will shift and j value will reduce next we will check is 6 greater than 1 yes so this 6 value will shift. Next j value will reduce. Is this 4 greater than 1? Yes. So this 4 will shift. Next j value will reduce. So is 3 greater than 1? Yes. So this 3 value will shift. Next j will be 0. Then is 2 greater than 1? Yes. So this 2 will shift. So every element shifted 1 1 position. Now j will reduce to here. So now j value is minus 1. So we will exit from the loop. As j should be greater than or equal to 0, then only you can run loop. So we will exit from the loop. Now here a of j plus 1 equals to b. a of j plus 1 means this position. So we will insert 1 here. We will insert at a of 0. Now the array is sorted. So every time we compare the element from right to left, and we find the proper position and we insert that element. So here what is the basic operation? Basic operation is this comparison. A of j greater than v that is our basic operation. And in the worst case we will execute this largest number of time. Here we execute it largest number of time. We compare with every element. So running time in worst case will be summation i1 to n minus 1 for this for loop then summation j0 to i minus 1 for this while loop j value will run from 0 to till i minus 1 and 1 due to 1 basic operation so let's solve this here it will be i minus 1 minus 0 plus 1 now after cancellation we will get i and we know the formula for this it is n minus 1 multiplication n divided 2 or approximately you can say theta of n square this is our worst case running time so in the best case the comparison will be executed only once on every iteration of the outer loop means this this is the case so we just execute only once if one array is already sorted that is our best case and we'll just do one comparison for every iteration. That's why running time will be theta of n. One comparison for every i value. So i 1 to n minus 1, 1 it will be n minus 1 or theta of n. So for insertion sort, worst case running time is theta of n square, while best case running time is theta of n. Till now I discussed selection sort bubble sort and insertion sort and for selection sort worst case and best case both running time is theta of n square for bubble sort both running time is theta of n square while for insertion sort worst case is theta of n square while best case is theta of n and for selection sort number of swap number of swap was theta of n and for bubble sort number of swap is theta of n square for insertion sort we are not doing any swap we are doing shifting so number of swap will be zero there is no swap in insertion sort we are just doing shifting in today lecture i discussed insertion sort algorithm with example if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you